<laughs> well, I'm very happy because in today's conversation, I want to speak to you about a very high limit personal credit card from Connexus Credit Union, maximum credit limit up to $75,000. You heard it right, up to $75,000 for a high limit personal credit card. All kinds of credit profiles are welcome, low credit, no credit, low FICO, average FICO, everybody's welcome. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love this. Folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous if you already ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. In today's conversation, I'm very happy to have uh, a discussion with you about a high limit personal credit card from, from Connexus Credit Union up to $75,000. This is amazing. This is one of the very few credit cards out there, especially from a credit union that can grant you a limit as high as $75,000. Before I get into the actual nitty gritty, please understand that we have no association, no relationship, no affiliation to uh, the to Connexus Credit Union. They have not paid us. This video is purely informational, purely uh, educational, purely um, instructive. So we're just doing this because we believe it's, uh, it's uh, the kind of information that is worth sharing. So we're talking about the Connexus Credit Union Platinum Card, okay? With this card, you have a bevy of, uh, of benefits. Fantastic. You have intro APR, $0, 0% intro APR for purchases and balance transfers. And, uh, and this for the first 20 billing cycles. After that, your APR will oscillate between 13.49% to 23.49% based on your credit worthiness when you open your account. Remember that this credit card will accept Everybody, everybody that has a minimum FICO of 530. The minimum FICO score for this card is 530. Okay, and what are, what are we talking about? We have an, this is an unsecured credit card, no deposit required. And this is a rewards card, and uh, there there are many fees. I'll speak about the fees later on. The decision speed is uh, it ranges from one to three day three days. That's the turnaround, and uh, the extra conditions they want you to. Of course, you got to be a member of this credit union. This is how things work for for all credit unions so folks this is a very attractive offer when you really think about it it's a very attractive offer here as you can see on the screen because think about it zero percent intro apr on purchases and balance transfer for 20 billing cycles not one not two not three not four not 10 20 folks you know and after that you have a, a variable apr that is also reasonable the apr is, is reasonable 1349 to 2349 and we love the fact that they are open to all kinds of credit profiles and other credit cards that um, that that Connexus um, provides. You can see the Max Cash Preferred card. Then you have the Real Rewards card, and then you have the Secure card. So I'm just telling you so that if you don't qualify for this uh, Platinum card, you have other cards from uh, this great credit union that you may qualify for. Now, let me talk to you a little bit about the issuer here. I want to give a, a little glimpse into uh, this uh, credit union. Now, before I do this, folks, let me just contextualize this conversation. I'm talking to you today about a very high limit personal credit card from Connexus Credit Union. We're speaking $75,000, $75,000 and uh, all kinds of credits are welcome. It doesn't matter your FICO score. As long as you have a, a minimum FICO of 530, you may qualify. So Connexus Credit Union is a full service credit union that is based in Wisconsin. So when we when we use the word, uh, the term full service, it means that it offers a variety of banking products, including savings, check-ins, insurance, all kinds of all kinds of services that you might see at a traditional bank. OK, membership is available to all employees, retirees, family members members, students and student and student alumni of participating group and to residents of various communities or counties in Minnesota, Ohio and Wisconsin. Now, the cool thing here is that 
even if you don't live in those in those states, even if you don't qualify the traditional way, there are other ways you may qualify. All you have to do is contact uh, the the Connexus uh, the Connexus uh, Credit Union team, and they'll let you know how to qualify. As a matter of fact, there are, for example, they they sponsor some uh, charities in the area, and uh, you might just have to make a five dollar donation to a charity of their choice to be in. That's all. Nothing else. Nothing more. Okay, and we love the fact that besides credit cards, you also can have uh, checking accounts, savings accounts, money market accounts, share, what they call share certificates, aka CDs, right? Certificate of deposits, and um, and we love the fact that this this credit card, this credit union rather, has a large network of um, of ATMs and branches. Can you believe they have more than five thousand branches nationwide? That's just fantastic. That's wonderful, okay? And so if you want to join the credit union, you just have to uh, join the Connexus Association. This is a charitable organization for a one-time fee of $5, okay? Now, if you don't if you don't pay that, you can actually also join another organization. By the way, you just have to contact them. So after evaluating this credit union on tens of criteria, including credit card variety, credit card limit generosity, cost, reputation, and credit and customer service, we assign the company a score of 9 over 10. I want to talk to you a little bit about this card in depth because this is important folks. I'm speaking to you folks about a very high limit credit card, personal credit card from Connexus Credit Union. And uh, we're talking about a potential limit of $75,000. $75,000 and the minimum FICO required is 530. Okay? So let me dig a little deeper here. So you can see on the screen, the vi this visa, this is a business, this is a personal visa, visa plat platinum card. And I'm showing you on the screen here, the terms and conditions, okay? So annual fee is $0, there's no annual fee. The rewards rate is, uh, it doesn't apply depending on where you live. There is no bonus offer. They have an intro, what we love is the, <laughs> it's just amazing. Can you imagine? You have intro APR 0% on purchases and guess what? Also on balance transfers for 20 billion cycles, 20 months. Okay. Now the cash advance APR is a little high, 25.99% variable. And this is what I was telling you earlier in terms of their fees. They have a constellation of fees. So you got to be very careful when, uh, when playing on, um, connections, the credit unions, uh, turf here. Okay. They have balance transfer fee, 3%, foreign transaction fee, 3%. And uh, let's just go on here. So the balance transfer, it's either 3% of the amount of each transfer or $5 minimum, whichever is greater, what they call convenience check cash advance, either 3% of the amount of each advance or $5, whichever is greater. For the cash advance ATM, it's either 5% of the amount of each advance or $10, $10 minimum, whichever is greater. Then they have uh, the cash equivalent advance, same thing either 5% of the amount of each advance or $20 minimum, whichever is greater. And they have uh, $10 for overdraft protection. Foreign transaction, I already said that, that's 2% of each foreign purchase transaction or foreign ATM advance transactions in US dollars. The penalty fees, you have 3% of each foreign, per, uh, foreign purchase transaction. They have interest rate and uh, charges. So they have late payment, $40. Return payment $40 over a limit. There is no penalty for that. So what I'm saying here is that the card is interesting. It's very they have a it has a very attractive limit. But you gotta be very you gotta be really really careful because if you mess up at least even once, you are going to be bombarded with a deluge of fees. Let's talk about eligibility here. So folks, and um, I just wanted to. Uh, Again, contextualize today's conversation here. I'm talking to you today about a high limit credit card from Connexus Credit Union. And this is a card that has a potential limit of $75,000. You don't have to have stellar credit to qualify for it. As long as you have a minimum credit score of 530, you should be, you should qualify. Now, you may not get the full $75,000. Again, that's totally normal. The potential is there though. but. The, the limit you will qualify for will depend on your credit worthiness. And that makes sense. That's how all credit card companies, including credit unions, operate. So you got to have, to be eligible for this card, you got to have a credit union membership. 
with Connexus. I already spoke to you how to do, I told you how to do that. So it's very simple. So um, you have to be an employee. You have to be uh, affiliated with the with the uh, with the credit union based on an affinity group based on geography. So if you reside in Minnesota, Ohio and Wisconsin in the certain communities or counties, you will qualify. If you are a spouse, if you're a spouse, family member of someone who is currently a member, that's great. But if not, all you have to do is to become a member of the Connexus Association. So this requires a one time five dollar donation. And we're showing you right now a snapshot of this association on the screen. It's connexusassociation.org. So once you do this, you should be fine. So besides the credit union membership, you got to have a social security number. Of course, you got to be uh, at least 21 years old and or 18 with, a, with either a parent's permission or a verifiable source of income. You got to have a, a valid social security number. You got to have, uh, you got to be a U.S. citizen or a legal permanent resident. You have to uh, have a source of income. You got to have, uh, you, you got to, you have to uh, provide other kinds of, of information depending on uh, what they're asking you. And in some cases, they might approve if you have a co-application. In other words, you are adding somebody else to the application and maybe to increase your chances of getting approved for a larger amount. So that's also possible. But I would say that in this situation, you first want to contact the, uh, the credit union before doing that. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. I'm still having a conversation with you about um, a massive, 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 massive credit card from Connexus Credit Union. And the potential limit of this card is uh, $75,000. We're speaking about a Visa Platinum card. And uh, this is a card that, we, that is open to all kinds of uh, credit profiles, whether you have low FICO or a high FICO, doesn't really matter. I mean, when I speak, when I say low FICO, you got to have at least a FICO score of 530. All right. So what kind of evidence does the, this credit card uh, require to approve you? Now, of course, you got to you have to complete the whole application. That's very important. And then you on the application, you have to specify which kind of card, what kind of card you need. If you remember earlier, I was tell, I was talking to you about the fact that there are three other credit cards that uh, Connexus have so if you don't qualify for the visa platinum you might want you might you might qualify for another one and so they want to know whether you are a tenant or homeowner what kind of other debts you have and who are your creditors this is important for uh, connexus because they want to they want to evaluate your dti your debt to income ratio that kind of tells them your risk level as um as a borrower remember that a credit union as well as uh, any financial institution, including banks and uh, and insurance companies, they're looking at different risk spectra. And, uh, you know, what they're doing is that they review all the spectra and they decide, OK, you know, this risk spectrum, we'll love this one. We'll take this spectrum. We'll take this one. Or we don't like that one. Yet. So you have to they they want to they want to evaluate where you fit along the spec, the risk spectrum, uh, uh, you know, their own risk spectrum. So beside the credit card application form, you need to also attach your income tax returns for the last three years, your financial statements. So your balance sheets, your income statements, your cash flows, anything I'm telling you now, you, you need to confirm that with, uh, with the lender, right? Because at the end of the day, it's all about going to the source to get the info. We've done research. We, we have reached out to the Connexus Credit Union uh, credit card department. But depending on when you listen to this particular show, is it one year from now, 10 years from now, some of the data might be different. So you want to contact the, the credit card, the credit union itself to have more information. Let's talk about how to apply for this uh, card. Now, folks, again, I'm speaking to you about what? I'm speaking to you about a high limit, huge personal credit card, Visa Platinum from Connexus Credit Union. The potential limit for this card is $75,000 and the card is open to all kinds of credit profiles 
as long as the person has the applicant has a minimum credit score of 530 okay so when we count when we say 530 that means that people who have a uh, bad credit also may qualify right fair credit is kind of cool good credit is good and you can actually you can do you can do the application via email fax web form phone you can visit the branch or you can mail it in okay now what i want to do here is i would actually uh, advise you if you live in the area if you leave if you have a nearest branch next to you you just go there and talk to them otherwise i'm just going to walk you through the application online so you have an idea of what to expect when you apply for this card for this massive card so you can see on the screen the first screenshot they're asking you so they have uh, five categories right so, so they have personal they have housing they have income and employment additional cards and term and terms and conditions so the first one is personal so they ask you for your name your, your first name last name your date of birth your social your um, your uh, phone number and your email pretty straightforward and then they're asking you as you can see on the second screenshot they're asking you your housing information where you live whether you own if you own how much you're paying in terms of mortgage and uh, if you're if you're your employment information right you can see that on the screen you want to see your your title and your employment income what kind of relate what kind of uh, account relationships do you currently have with uh, Connexus Credit Union do you have uh, investment accounts credit card accounts and how long have you had that relationship for them it's kind of cool because they want to know if they if they can extend more money to you in terms of risk you know so and then uh, they have income and employment so you can talk about if you want to do some balance transfers how much you currently have if you want to have additional credit uh, additional credit cards issued to uh, some of your partners your your spouse your your, your adult children so you put the name of the uh, additional the name of the person who is going to hold the additional credit card you put their date of birth and their social you put their address too and then you move on to the next uh, screenshot here this is where they're asking you to uh, read everything to read the, the the terms and conditions and apply and you, you just hit submit so once you do this this is actually a pre-qualification they will re they will review all the information and they will contact you somebody from connexus will contact you to discuss further So when the person, while the person is, uh, while you, when you just send the, um, the credit card, uh, the form, there are a few things you need to do so that when the person calls you, you're ready to give all the answers and you possibly, you can qualify for this, uh, again, folks, this massive, if you really think about it, I'm talking to you about a high credit limit credit card from Connexus Credit Union with a massive credit limits, a potential amount of $75,000 for those who qualify, this is huge, so we gotta treat it very seriously. You have to treat the whole process very seriously. So when they contact you, when they reach out to you, either via email or via phone, please make sure you are responsive. Make sure you provide whatever information they need ASAP, okay? They might ask for additional information regarding your employment. So they might ask for your W-2s, your pay stubs, for example. They might also ask for your income tax returns, your 1040. If you have a, a business on the side, they might ask for your 1065 or 1120. Okay. They might also ask for your bank statements. If you don't have a banking relationship at the moment with uh, with Connexus, they might want to they might want to get um, more information about uh, maybe you know about your financial stability. It's all about liquidity. It's all about having an idea, a clear idea of your financial situation. So they might want to see the last three banks, the, the last three monthly bank statements. That didn't sound right. Let's say the bank statements for the last three months. Sounds better, okay? And one thing you also want to do here is that when you apply, please make sure you want to keep an eye on when you have a conversation with, uh, with the rep at the lender, make sure you tell them that you are open to other cards if you do not qualify for this card okay because underwriting procedures change all the time at uh, credit unions banks and other uh, lenders so if something happens and uh, connexus has changed uh, its underwriting uh, guidelines and you don't qualify for this card anymore ask if you could qualify for other cards because they have three other cards if you remember do you remember what i told you about those cards you probably forgot right <laughs> So the cards I was talking about, you have the Max Cash Preferred card, you have the Real Rewards card, 
and then you have the secured card. So for the Max Cash Preferred card, you can get more value with up to 5% cash back in two categories you choose. For the Real Rewards card, you, you can earn 1.5 points for every dollar you spend on eligible net purchases equal to 1.5% uh, cash back. And for the Secure card, this is a card that's perfect for anyone who wants to improve or establish their credit. I will speak to you another time, folks. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. Until next time, remember, stay marvelous.